talking again about hydration and today briefly we want to cover dehydration so how do you know when you're dehydrated um, a lot of people actually don't realize they are dehydrated a very simple thing you can actually do is by looking at your color of your urine and it is really uh, a good giveaway and see if your body is dehydrated and you're looking at more the color of a like straw yellowish um, a light pale color <laughs> um, where you can just if it has that color you're pretty all right if it's gonna be like water clear as water you're drinking too much you're flushing your system out of minerals so drinking too much can be not great for your body either like you're not drinking enough so there's a fine line between what is enough and what is not too much uh, exercising so if you exercise then you definitely have a higher demand but um, again you can um, judge by the color of your urine if your urine is really really dark yellow and is a bit smelly then definitely you're dehydrated usually it's the one um, when you go first thing in the morning and you haven't been to the toilet all night this is usually uh, the color that you can see or the smell that you can get from being a wee bit dehydrated overnight because we lose a good cup uh, or even a bit more than that um, while we're sleeping so and this is called stress purely by breathing out because you, your your breath holds a lot of uh, you know moisture and uh, so therefore we are dehydrating while we're sleeping so it's a good good habit to get into it when you wake up first in the morning have a big glass of water you know room temperature water not cold water again uh, room temperature is so much easier uh, for our warm body because our body is like 37 degrees so if you're putting something really icy cold down there it's just it's just like suicide to your body basically and you can um ask any a traditional chinese medicine um doctor he will tell you it's just a bad thing a bad habit to get into it is drinking icy cold water uh, because you're introducing it into a very warm um, body so yeah dehydration looking at the color of your urine is definitely a good giveaway Judge your water, maybe have you know, in your daily journal, see how much water you consume. You can have a little tick beside it if you go to the toilet, have a look what's the color of your urine. If it's like water, you're drinking too much, you're flushing your kidneys, and at the same time you're flushing your kidneys, you're taking your minerals with you. So you can have a bit of a deficiency in minerals if you're drinking far too much water. There's a sort of a rule that we could use is a 0 0.33 times your body weight um that what we have used in the past to for recommendations um you can apply that see if that makes sense to you um good you know usually it's a good a liter to two liters it really depends what you're up to if you work in a air-conditioned office you will probably will dehydrate more in winter we feel um we've got heaters on we've got fireplaces on uh, we might dehydrate a bit more in summer it's the heat from the outside or if you're exposed to a lot of wind um, you feel I can get dehydrated a little bit more. So there's many ways we can get dehydrated. Um, for activators, if you do PHP60, these are usually, usually require a bit less water, where a diplomat uh, has to really, really drink a litre of water before lunch. Um, again, they're driven by the lymphatic system, so it's something that we really want to be aware of. Um, that not everybody needs the same amount of water, so we can't really generalize it again. But just, yeah, you, I think that if you go by your urine, it's, it's a good way to go and have a play. See how this week pans out for you. Have a little look, study it, and um, give us some feedback how that goes on. Uh, you have a great day and see you next time. Bye.